There's two main ways that a private landlord can get back his property from a tenant. The Section 8 route, which is what I call the fault-based route. And normally that's to do with rent arrears, but it can range from anything like rent arrears up to antisocial behaviour, but it's where you're saying that the tenant's at fault for something. The other route is the Section 21 route, and that's where you don't need to accuse the tenant of doing something wrong, you just need to serve them with the correct notice. So if your tenant has refused or neglected to pay his or her rent, or has caused damage to the property, or has been antisocial to neighbours, then the way forward normally is to serve them with a Section 8 notice if you want to get back possession of your property. The Section 8 notice itself is a prescribed form, and the actual notice period varies from two weeks up to two months, depending on what you're accusing the tenant of. Usually, it's rent arrears. In those circumstances, it's a two-week notice. Uh, if the tenant remains after that two-week notice period, then the way forward is to serve them with court proceedings, seeking a possession order. Um, the matter would then go to a court hearing, at which the court judge, the district judge in that case, uh, would decide whether to grant you an order for possession or not. Uh, if the district judge does decide to give you back possession of the property, normally it's within 14 days, but it can extend that up to 42 days if the tenant is going to be caused exceptional hardship by uh, being ordered to get out of the property within 14 days. If you simply want to get back possession of your property, regardless as to whether the tenant is at fault or not, then you can serve on your tenant what is known as a Section 21 notice. Um, there is a prescribed form now, which up until October 2018 you can choose in certain circumstances whether to use or not. Um, but once that notice has been served on the tenant, you must give the tenant at least two months uh, notice to vacate the property. If they do not vacate the property after those two months, um, then you would need to issue court proceedings against them, seeking a uh, possession order against them. Uh, that can now hopefully be done on paper uh, in most circumstances um, and at the end of it you'll get hopefully a possession order stating that they must get out within 14 days. If your tenants remain in the property after the court order date then first do not go around and change the locks. Um, that could constitute a legal eviction which is both a criminal and civil matter. Um, the way forward is to make an application to the court um, for bailiffs to attend the property. Um, normally, possession proceedings take place in the county court, so what you'd be asking the court to do is send round county court bailiffs, and from the date in which you make the application to the court, depending on how busy your bailiff is, normally it takes about three to six weeks to get an eviction date. If the court proceedings were issued in the High Court, um, then potentially what you could do is ask for High Court Enforcement Officers, also known as Sheriffs, to attend the property to evict the tenants. The best tip I can give landlords is to get the paperwork in order from the start. Um, the first thing the landlord will probably come into contact with is the deposit. Uh, a landlord needs to protect that within one of the government-based schemes within 30 days and also to serve the prescribed information on the tenant within that time frame. If the landlord fails to do that, the consequences unfortunately can be quite severe. First, a landlord would not be able to serve a valid Section 21 notice, uh, and secondly, a landlord would face a claim by a tenant for up to four times the amount of the deposit. The next thing the landlord would want to think about is unfortunately more paperwork. Um, a gas safety certificate, an energy performance certificate, EPC, and also a form called How to Rent, which can be downloaded from the government website, will need to be served on the tenant. Um, until and unless that happens, a landlord would not be able to serve a valid Section 21 notice. My final tip is as to dates in notices. Obviously you can serve either a Section 8 notice or a Section 21 notice in certain circumstances, uh, but watch out for the dates that you put in those notices because the judges will be very finicky about the timings and the dates in these notices. And if they can find that there's a notice which is out by a day, 
uh, then that will be classed as invalid and ultimately your court proceedings will be dismissed. At Astor Patterson we offer a fixed fee service for getting your property back from troublesome tenants. Please feel free to get more information from our website at astorpatterson.co.uk. Thank you for watching, we're here to help. Thank you.